There was one right here, big enough for a baseball to go down into. Well, it's getting worse and worse. I put a whole box of mothballs in a hole that was the same spot, but on that side. Stephanie and Stephen Yelton are up against a small but persistent enemy. We're having a worst case of rats in our yard now. One weekend, we killed five. To see the problem for ourselves, we went out to the alley behind the couple's Dundalk home the night before trash day. Just after midnight, the rats began to show. What's that like to see all these rats in the alley? Disgusting. Um, I've had neighbors that have been sitting on the porches at night, and the rats crawl over the fence and into the yard, and they're in the yard. To protect their dogs, they've had to be creative in their strategy. We've tried everything from coyote urine to all kinds of household chemicals, mothballs, anything we can find online. Back in 2012, the Yelton's dog Cooper was poisoned when he got a hold of a dead rat. They opted out of the county's rat eradication treatment, but their yard was treated anyway. I'm really scared to have my dog, especially after the one got poisoned. That was a very scary time. Here in the Yelton's yard, you can see all the different ways they're trying to keep these rats out. First of all, they keep their trash cans covered. They have this bucket of dirt used to fill the rat holes. And over here along the fence line, they keep these wooden boards. I'm at my wit's end. I don't know how I'm going to keep them out of my yard. And I'm, I'm just asking the county to help. So you can imagine their surprise when they received a citation for rat harborage. I don't think it's right the ones that are working hard to try to keep it down. To be punished. Yelton says she went to her hearing ready to present her case, but was not allowed to speak and was ordered to pay a $75 fine. Well, when I got there and they don't let me talk, I'm in, I'm guilty and can't prove myself innocent. While the county declined to comment on Yelton's individual situation, code enforcement supervisor Adam Whitlock says his team is working hard to rid the county of rats. Code enforcement reviews uh, neighborhoods. We'll get requests through um, through community associations, uh, through the local council office, uh, and then we also have inspectors in neighborhoods uh, on a daily basis that will give recommendations that need a sweep or rat eradication. The problem is so bad the county hired a second extermination company this year to keep up with the volume. Of complaints. It is countywide. Um, the county executive um, allotted three quarters of a million dollars for the next for five years um, for a rat eradication program. That is that is specifically uh, for exterminating the rats. Ultimately, the first line of defense are the people who live in these neighborhoods. One of the big things to help control rats in a neighborhood is uh, storing your trash in containers with tight fitting lids, uh, cleaning up after your dogs. You can't have dog feces on your property. Uh, removing large amounts of junk and debris. Uh, rats tend to burrow under those and around them. Uh, and then also. You want to uh, inspect your property routinely for, for any type of rat holes and treat if necessary. Yelton also wants to see more neighbors do their part in a fairer process on the enforcement side. When somebody's trying to help them, don't fine them. You know, I called in, I complained, I was tired of all the rats, and I wanted something done. And what they do, they find me.